research that I've done on biopolitics starts from the work of Foucault, but um, Foucault only gave the sketchiest outline of what he meant by biopolitics. And for me, the investigation has always been carried out empirically by studying particular sites, practices, forms of expertise, modes of subjectivation, which have been involved in the formation of the biopolitics of our time, which Foucault didn't talk very much about. And in doing that, one has to make up one's own concepts. So what I mean by biopolitics uh, is the way in which the nature of life of human beings as vital living creatures has entered politics and political contestations take the nature, the organization, the management of human vitality, individual and collective vitality as their object of concern. And by neuropolitics I mean the part of that or the dimension of that that focuses specifically on the neural capacities of individuals. That is to say on their brains and what their brains can do or can't do or should do or might do and how our brains and therefore our conduct by means of our brains can be governed. I think biopolitics today, for me, has become so important because of the increasing role of biomedical knowledge in our management of ourselves and our government of others.